Welcome to the RPG Blender, where we give lesser played games or forgotten settings the roll the dice they deserve. I'm your host, Game Master George, thrilled to welcome you to the next chapter in our adventure. Our heroes have split to research their goals of finding the skull and killing the despot. But what awaits them to divert their attention? Find out as we explore a new land of power and ancient secrets in Exalted, the Past Reborn. Welcome to the RPG Blender. I'm your host, Game Master George, as we return to the world of Exalted. Let's meet our cast as we dive into this. Starting with Craig. Say hello, Craig. Howdy, howdy, gang. Uh, it's me, Craig, playing Diram Barat, uh, the uh, sort of introvert, uh, cold fish, uh, artifact crazy kind of guy. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> Uh, and now for the question of the day. That brings us to, oh, Peter, getting it in early. You got a P question <laughs> for Durham. Uh, so speaking of crafting, has Durham ever seen a war strider? A war strider? Craig doesn't even know what that is, so I think the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Do you want to explain what the war slayer is? Uh, no, I would like him to learn in uh -oh. character because I've told him before and he doesn't remember. So at this point, <laughs> I've tried. That doesn't I'm... sound like Craig. I am writing this down. War Strider. Okay. Interesting. All right. So Dira has never seen a War Strider. Okay. Interesting. Does that make sense? Would that be common yeah. in the realm or? Uh, no. Like no. Okay. All okay, right. Cool. You take them all the military parades. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then that brings us to, I believe, next in my usual order is Rich, because Greg is not yet here, hopefully joining us a little bit later. Say hello, Rich. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Rich. I play Smiling Mountain, the um, happy punch boy of the group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that goes about right. Happy punch boy, as long as he stays away from that one section of the city that you're in. Yeah, then I'll the be in this punch boy. <laughs> Oh boy, is that going to be the plan? Okay, let's find out who gets to ask a question here. We get Craig. Hmm, a smiling mountain question, huh? Let's see. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh boy, now I gotta, now I gotta think what, what weird <laughs> things about mountain should I try and think on. Uh, okay, a smiling mountain question. <sighs> Does Mountain actually see a conclusion for this adventure? Does he actually see like a a proper settling of our type of people and uh, a a settlement with the realm, whether or not that's complete decimation or a peaceful resolution, uh, dealing with uh, our new extremely powerful entity that uh, we have now interacted with Raxi and and whatnot and even in reflection of where our powers once were and knowing the monster that might be coming to fruition and where we are now does he think there's a good ending here yeah but it's not the ending you think it is i'll take I'll, I'll take a <laughs> vague book is hell but i'll take it <laughs> Mount, mountains the way mountain sees this ending is that we have the potential to be practically eternal and that the responsible thing is is to not become eternal is to do as much good as you can do and then stop and either set yourself up with people that can stop you or mountain will do it and then i'll be stopped afterward <laughs> but we're going to be stopped <laughs> Five thousand years is too long. You, you just lose touch too much. So we give me saw like, what happened. Give me like two hundred <laughs> years to do do with it. If you haven't done it in two hundred years, it's not worth doing. We're long and rounding this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that brings us to Peter. Please introduce yourself, Peter. Hi there, I'm Peter from Sports Where Nobody, playing Ragnar Royale, the Eclipse of the Group. <laughs> you talk about the first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe one. I, I always get Peter. It's going to be me. <laughs> No, it has now to I'm be not me. giving it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I am the DM. I ch I control the dice when I choose, and I give it to Becky. <laughs> Um, why don't you like um, being called Sparrow? Uh, well, he's trying to distance himself from that old name, especially given that, you know, if someone remembers him, his company, including, you know, Dearman Mountain, went out for a wild hunt to Castle Anathema, and then none of them came back because, you know, <laughs> some more enough on, uh, you know, were discovered. So, you know, better 
not connect yourself to that and you know you name new identity new everything why not yeah it's probably better if you guys don't really use your real names you know he's yeah. the only one that can lie you know he's the only one that can lie <laughs> yeah, legally change your name and it won't be a lie <laughs> Uh, but that leaves a paper trail back to your new name. Come on, that, that's not an answer either. <laughs> All right. Uh, and that brings us to Becky. Say hello, Becky. Hi, I'm Becky. Uh, I play Lore of Autumn, and I'm the newbie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all relative. Okay. Rich, that means you've got a question for Becky. Mm. Has there ever been a time that you had to take a form that you regretted having to kill the person whose form you took? Person? Yeah, I don't no. think you... <laughs> Ooh, that has some meaning behind Stone it. Stone fucking cold! <laughs> I'm glad you got our side. Fucking hell. Okay, a very appropriate answer. Okay, uh, so... Previously on Exalted, our heroes made a deal to become assassins of kings in order to take out the despot and put in place a potentially far more agreeable to work with your kind ruler into gem or to then kill him and put uh, a disguised Lore of Autumn on the throne and whatever. Doesn't matter. That's there. That's for the future to decide. Uh, you then began doing your research in the city of Gem on two different areas. Number one, trying to find the incense seller of, uh, that supplies the despot with their beautiful fragrances that fill his manor. That was ultimately successful because of stupidly good rolls, as you found <laughs> The, uh, not only the incense seller, but you also found one of the, uh, servants from there leaving said seller, heading back toward the manor, in theory. Our other group then went and read books, looking for permits of new excavations, uh, finding two such excavations ongoing within the city that were, you know, uh, that seemed to jump out at them. Uh, the first being Ava Rago, who was digging up toward the uh, surface, whereas Kunalt is digging down uh, into the underbelly of the mountain. Uh, for Kunalt, you also found a secondary permit where they are beginning to engage in the sale of unscrupulous goods that may or may not be living. I don't want to say the word, right? at least until 10 minutes in. Gotta keep that monetization. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right. Uh, and that is where we left off because it's impossible to put a button on reading books. <laughs> but yeah, we probably being called kingmakers, not assassins. <laughs> <laughs> and unmaking kings. In order to make a dynasty, you have to end one. <laughs> Feed the spot. All right. So that is where we return to our group. We have uh, Mountain and Adramalik off in the market. Watching this uh, servant leave with a pile of incense, and we have Lore, Regara Royal, Royal. I'm, uh, I'm going to do that wrong every time. Regara Royal and Diram Barath in their little uh, <laughs> permit shack. Man, you hate that we went and just did research. That I can, I can <laughs> taste, uh, I can taste the vitriol. Exalted, where we read books. <laughs> we have the power of gods. We read books. Let's we have demons off. that can read books for us, but we would rather read them ourselves. Listen, man, the knowledge of books <laughs> is good. All right. Hey, 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 listeners, uh, reading books is a good thing. It's reading actually, books is it's a actually... good thing. That is true. Unless you have a demon that can do it for you. I mean, and... this is you have... <laughs> In this is they have bureaucracy charms, writing charms, book mm -hmm. charms, and everything. So you can be a bookworm hero thing. Yep, you can. Did any of you take those charms? The last time we did magic <laughs> that involved reading or getting books, we brought all the books to get life in the library and burnt it down. He's right. <laughs> it's on Broom Podcast. He's uh, right. Uh, 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 shoot, we man. don't do spells oh. about books no more in this. No, no, no. The last time that you did uh, <laughs> magic regarding a book, you photocopied a piece of paper. Paper. Oh yeah, I don't regret that in the slightest. Uh, Listen, I tried to do magic stuff, and I get, I get, I get the bad, the bad end. I try to read books, I get the bad end. You gotta make it, everybody. I'm getting mixed. Ah, you know that's. I think that's you my just uh, defined your relationship with George. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fair. 
<laughs> that's fair. That's fair. All right. So let's see how you rejoin the action. Who would like? Which group would like to go first? I mean, there's more than one of those type of other Malik, and I'll start killing him to zoom here. You you don't want to get to see me play Andrew Malik? All right, fine. We can go to the bookworms first. I mean, now I'm getting buyer's remorse here, but yes, we we, we can begin. <laughs> uh, okay. So we have these two leads. It it seems like uh, Ava Rego. I mean, just talking out loud, it seems like that one has more history behind it. If that was a lead in relation to our quarry, uh, that doesn't seem as relevant versus well, somebody digging deeper down, trying to unearth some sort of relic, which could possibly be hidden in the, the mountain, right? Yes, but the other problem is that we don't have any other history of Evarego, because Kunal does seem to have some other history going on. So maybe she's the new person in town, you know, new alternative identity someone's using, maybe. I, I'm, I'm thinking exactly the same thing. That sounds like a, an easy identity to take on. And then from there, the purchase of people sounds like something exactly like up his alley, more puppets. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure which of these leads are better, so I guess we should investigate them both. Uh, okay. Where do we want to start? I guess we should regroup with Mountain and Ramalik and then maybe split from there. Let's regroup! Oh, man! Here I was <laughs> thinking you were going to uh, split the party even further. <laughs> I'm just going to keep giving you clues until it's five solo ventures. Ooh, we. You, and then do you just want go that? Five separate ways. <laughs> that's, yeah, my, that's my thinking. Like, this is work for you. Are you kidding me? How much easier would scheduling be if everybody had their own session? <laughs> uh, You're all right. Uh, so you decide to regroup and you're heading back to the market to try to find your yep. big friend and your little friend. Yeah, we know that they went to the spice market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, probably. I'm super, I'm super easy to find by default. We probably establish where we'll be meeting back up after it. Right, because you did establish a meeting place and time, correct? Yep, of course. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Yep. <laughs> Lie to George Becky. That's what we do here. Uh, I don't know what no way to I remember this. Yeah, he has no way to prove it otherwise. <laughs> yes, yes, we did. We did. That definitely happened. That was a thing that, that normal normally we do. Don't worry. Uh, I only Malik. offer that question when it doesn't matter, and I don't have something <laughs> de uh, devious planned. If you say no, I thought Adramalik was going to spend an hour in the 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 palace. He wanted oh. to, and that's why Mountain went with him. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out as we jump over to the other group. Yeah. So Mountain and Adramalik. You see the uh the seller walking away from oh, sorry the um the servant walking away from the seller now oh boy mr mountain what are we waiting say, for are we going after him <laughs> we should go, go, go we should go we should go right now yeah that's yes. that's that's what we yeah that's what would happen okay. yeah we've got um, this opportunity here we can't let it go by without taking it right we have to take advantage of what comes in front of us Exploit, exploit. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you try and follow them and slip into the palace by yourself, and that way if we need an avenue of getting inside. <laughs> Brilliant idea. Yes, that's truly wonderful. Uba, isn't that a wonderful idea? Ooh, oh, yes, yes, wonderful. Um, I'll just, I'll, fo I'll follow quietly behind him, and then right before he's about to go in, I'll slit his throat, and then I'll go no. in this place. Okay, no. I like this plan. No. See you later. No, no, no. What? What? You're going to... Actually, even following them is a bad idea, realistically. I have their scent. We no, no, you had the good shopping. idea. You don't need to go back on it now. We had it right. I follow. I get inside. I kill the you guy don't, while you don't, and You don't kill him. You don't kill him. They're going well, to well, Wait, but we've been told that we have to kill him, right? No, no, you don't kill the servant. You go no, inside. No, I kill the despot. I go inside. I said that he's a, he's a fat old man. Who cares? Oh, I thought you meant the he's servant. He's probably easy to kill, right? No, well, definitely yeah, but not. But him too. That'll be necessary too. No, we know who the servant, so we're going to follow the servant next time because I just... Oh, as if, as if why? It had been much we longer. could be done with this now. We could get paid. Because of Forsaken Rainbow. Oh, Oh, Forsaken Rainbow, they won't even see me coming. With a, with a name like that, I doubt they can see anything. All the light in their eyes. Edramalik, if you want to scout out the head, that would be fine. Do not do anything stupid that will get you killed or reveal stupid. our mission. Stupid! I take offense don't to do that. anything, and I, and, I, and I crouch down and I say, <laughs> don't do anything that would make it obvious. I trust you to do a good job, Edramalik. So do this job. Follow, watch, look for a routine. That's what I want you to do. 
<sighs> and then I get to kill them? You will have all the glory. Everyone will sing of Erdramalik the Despot Slayer. Well, well, I don't want everybody to sing, only the people with good voices. It wouldn't really do if we have all the terrible singers out there uh, muddying right. up right. my praise. You know what? I'm going to talk to Horace when we get back, and I'll have him pick out the best singers. And oh, Horace! Make a song yeah, about. Where is Horace? Did we, did we bring him? No, I think I he's back we... on the boat. No, he isn't, but I will write, I will, I'll, I'll write this... it down. I'll write it down. You were lying to me, weren't you? No, I'm. I actually, I more than willing to give you the credit on this. But they are getting away, so scoot off. Just, just stay far. Right, Uba, just bring the small knives. <laughs> small knives. And they scamper away into the market, following this individual. And now it's up to Greg what he does when he gets back. But I've set him up. He has his adventure lined up for him. Was that an adequate representation of Andrew Malik? That was so good. It was so good. <laughs> Honestly, I would have been fine if you just did a, did a Hail Mary pass and just had George play Adramalik trying to do this <laughs> as he plays all the NPCs and we just watch George play the game. <laughs> I, would have, I would have sat here for however long. <laughs> all right. Uh, with your squirrely companion now, definitely on his way to do exactly what you told him to do. Uh, what do you do? Smiling Mountain. I head back to the meeting spot because now I know what I need to know. Oh, no Wait, okay. There's no, there's no sun market right now, right? It's still nighttime. There is no sun currently. So yes, there is no sun market. So I can't find out anything about Forsaken Rainbow right now. So well, I guess I could. Where's the sun market normally located around? Outside. Oh, like outside, outside? Outside, outside. In the sun. Hence why it's called the sun market. Because nobody in their right mind goes outside unless they need to do illegal things. All right, well, I can't really do anything for now unless I try and gather information. If I did, it would be very disjointed and obvious. So I go back to the meeting spot. Every morning, the sun market is set up outside, and every at sunset, it is taken down with no trace left behind. Cool. We got to go there. Mm hmm yeah, I go home. You know, I just I just mosey through streets I've never been down before. Who knows what I see? Could be anything. No, I go straight back to the next spot. <laughs> straight back. Boy, the livestock market. <laughs> okay, go ahead and give me that perception awareness roll, Mountain. I haven't seen nothing yet, unless somebody's beating their servant in the middle of the street. <laughs> Which, I guess, over a long enough time period is, is going to happen. Right. Uh, time for the daily meeting. One, two, one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. One, two, three, four. Um, and normally I pump, so I'm going to pump two, even though I, I'm certain I don't want to see. But Aww. in in the fairness of the game. <laughs> in the spirit of limit breaks, let's get weird. I'm not... I'm not going to limit break. I'm just going to start punching immediately. Ugh, why? 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 This would have been so good. This would have been the time to be like, botch, botch, botch. Uh, and alternatively, we got two tens and one, two, three, four successes. So that is six successes. I don't know what I'm perceiving, so I didn't stunt it. Okay. Uh, with six successes, uh, you hear a raised voice from behind you uh, from a, a nearby... Alley, uh, right at the mouth of it. Do you, turn, do you yeah, ignore it? Or do you you turn know on? I turn, George. You know I turn. <laughs> I don't want to narrate your character for you. I give you the opportunity. <laughs> so to I appreciate into the hornet's nest. Mountain, mountain turns around because it could be somebody getting mud for something. I don't know, and I'm not. I'm not going to hmm. let stuff like that happen. I'm a good boy. As you turn around, you see um, a relatively angry-looking young man with dark hair. Uh, well well-dressed, um, rubbing his shoulder and looking down the alley, screaming obscenities uh, at a fairly well-armored individual who's walking down, who you recognize as that skull-adorned individual you had seen the other day, just as they disappear down that alley. Oh, he, like, bumped into him. Well, I'm going to go chase after that guy, because that's pretty cool. Okay. You're going to go chase after the guy with the skull armors and the gun and the big sword? Okay. Yeah, I want to I wanna know what's up. Yeah, he's, you, he's, you said he just went down the alleyway. Yeah, yeah, he just disappeared down it. Yeah, I, I, I chase, I totally chase after him. Oh, okay. Well, yes. You chase after him. Go ahead and give me your uh, dexterity athletics. Seems fair. It's about time Mountain gets some of his own. This is a running out. check if you choose, or so this is for speed. So if you have anything that affects that, I don't believe you do. Jumping? No. no. I, I, okay. <laughs> you have to leap through the marketplace because I will absolutely give you your bonus if you do that. No. <laughs> stunt, stunt, stunt. <laughs> I'm gonna, I am gonna stunt before I roll. Um, so yep. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five. So Mountain, like being, again, surprisingly nimble for his size, 
uh, kind of uh, notices and turns on his heel. Um, immediately, he uh, pushes his hand on like a stack of crates and a light groan is heard uh, as it kind of takes his weight and he kind of vaults himself over like a small group of people uh, to in front of the alley where he kind of like slides for a second and then uses uh, his arms to kind of push himself down the alley, uh, you know, just using the... Uh, terrain to move himself forward. So important question. Mm -hmm. Do you clip the angry individual who was uh, already mar uh, knocked by the individual you're chasing? Uh, oh. <laughs> Hold check. I mean, obviously, whether you successfully do what you choose to do right now depends on your role, but... I'm gonna say that if I get... Do it for the extra stuntage. <laughs> <laughs> Jump across the walls, the side. Jump over the person. Uh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Mario say jump off his head. And... <laughs> I'm gonna say if I That's get under, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pump three. And if I get under four successes, then I bump him. If I get five plus, then I don't bump him because I'm more concerned with getting in fast. But if I feel like I've got enough speed to kind of slide by him, then I'll allow it. Okay, you can have a two dot stunt for not committing to the Mario stomp, Ooh. which sounds better than a Goomba stomp. That's true. <laughs> All right, so that's over. Right. I have to roll two more dice, uh, but not in there because I don't want to mess with. Ooh, those were both successes, and that's one, two, three. But this pool was not as good. A one, four, a two, no, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so that's six successes. Six successes. You leap over this individual. He looks up as you do, oh, as you pass over his head, like, <laughs> and you land. He begins yelling at you anyway, even though you didn't clip him. Like, what the? Thinking, you moron! What are you doing, leaping over people like that? You could have killed. Someone. And and uh, at your commotion, I I assume you don't land particularly quietly as a large okay, individual. I'm not, and doing I'm not this. trying to. Just to be clear, I'm I'm like if I think something like let's say there's like a garbage can or something, like it's flat. Like I don't care. Like if there's product or something that I care about, then that's fine. But everything else, I'm just like just absolutely just gunning through. Okay. Uh, you land with a resounding crash upon the stone floor, and as you do. You see the individual about halfway down this alley. Uh, from the sound, they turn their head over their shoulder to look at you. Give me your hey. wit's integrity. You got it. Is he trying to goad me? No. Okay, this is memory. Is oh, oh, gotcha. I was going to say, I, I don't have a specialization in memory. This is a role you didn't get last time because you were you only got a brief glimpse, but this time you're getting the full One, two, face on, which allows you to get the role that only Greg got to do last time. Ooh. Um, upon seeing him, uh, mountains, I, I, life flashes before his eyes. I don't know how to stunt a memory. I'm going to guess if he can't, so I'm just going to roll and just accept it. <laughs> you enter your mind palace. I you don't have a mind palace. You need to give me an adequate, uh, description of the images that flash through your head as you have your Jimmy Neutron brain blast. Yeah, dude, just say, just say, think, 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 remember? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mountain thinking of different times that he's seen people like that thinks about like the first time that he fought uh, the lady with the scythe uh, with Aldermatic being killed in his form and is just trying to remember other people that kind of fit this profile that he's seen in passing. Okay. You can have a dot stunt. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, is this pumpable? Every, everything is pumpable as long as it's... Uh... Integrity is favorite of mine. There you go. I don't want to be goaded. <laughs> when I punch people, I want it to be my choice. Uh, okay, so that is one, two, three successes, four, five, six, seven. Seven successes. Seven successes. That's pretty good. Uh, as you look at this uh, figure, the armor is off-putting. The weapon is disturbing uh, and a bit intimidating, but something something familiar about it, but wrong. Uh, and then you see the face that you didn't really get a good look at before. Uh, your eyes meet their eyes, and you have seen these eyes before. You have seen this face, though it is a bit twisted, a bit more harsh than you remember. You have seen it when you looked in the mirror as Contentious Sword. No fucking way. Oh. It shows no recognition toward you, turns, and walks away. Uh, I don't even, like, I as Rich am a little bit stunned, so like, I'm like, what the fuck do I even <laughs> oh, do with this? I've never stunned Rich! I've never done it! In years! How many years has it been? And I've never successfully stunned, uh, stunned Rich. I, 
I actually am just completely at a fucking loss of what to do. Um, Taste it down, fight them, and eat them. Yeah. Come on. Why would I eat? It? That's the other problem. Is I have no I like I don't even fucking know what I would. You have ghost eat technique. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, our ghost eater is gone. Uh, but oh, also, yeah. why would I fight him? I, don't, I, I actually, I say, what are you doing here? I t- and what voice did you give? Uh, he had more of like, I gave him like a brash. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was, like, it was, it was a, little, a little sharp and harsh. Yeah. Not that it's any business of yours. No, I mean, what are you doing here? You're gone. At that, he stops. <laughs> and turns towards you. What do you mean by that? As, as, as I see his stance is meant to be intimidating, I, like, as I, like, normally, like, kind of, like, make myself smaller to go into alleyways, I, like, straighten up a bit. Uh, again, not to be intimidating, but to be, like, I'm not intimidated. And I hold my hand out uh, kind of flatly when I say, you're gone because I'm here. Hmm. Well, that's true. I'm trying to think of a better way to word that, but that is what I said. <laughs> yep, that is right. exactly what you right. said. And I very quickly, I'm like, or I guess the other way around. I'm here because you're gone. But if he pulls out his gun and locks one in my face before I get that second sentence out, then that's also like, well, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's fair. But I do say that second part if he doesn't shoot me in the face immediately. There's a momentary pause. You see his hand twitch slightly or he says i have no idea what you're talking about now leave before i have to do something rash you haven't learned your lesson about that yet then <laughs> <laughs> all right this is how uh, didn't i lead, lead this off with pre-game saying i've gotten you, less yeah you said uh, you got soft you said you got soft yeah. so we, we all remember that that was recorded cool. uh, all right let's take that joint battle this is gonna be a quick one Oh, everybody else take a half an hour off. No, this ain't gonna take a half hour. <laughs> oh my! Sorry, I, yes, I didn't expect. Yes, it yes, to yes, yes, cool. yes. Let's see some mountain chaos. Uh, I did so not expect be animal thirding first. What? Oh. Oh. Be animal thirding first, right? <laughs> I love that. Here's the deal is I know what I, I know what George at least gave him, and if I choose to leave, he can't probably get me. <laughs> Unless he's got a yeah. bunch of new stuff. And if he shoots a black, in theory been if he a long shoots time. a black if he shoots a black sun at me, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, that's, that's a, that's a smart, <laughs> if smart. I live through the first shot. I'm 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 fucking out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know uh, you don't have your sword. I broke that shit. I'm out. <laughs> uh, hang on though. As I noted, he yeah. does have the sword on his back. A That's wicked true. looking sword, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. You gonna stunt that joint battle? Uh Please. Mountain sensing kind of like a shift in the air, uh, kind of breathes out and like his feet crunch into the stone and then goes, I guess you haven't learned anything. Ooh. I've learned to clean up. Uh-oh. Let's join battle again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wits awareness. Thank you. So that's five from awareness and three from my wits. And then we're going to pump up that, uh, we're just going to do a little bit of, a little, lot of bit of pumping. We're just going to oh, pump. Yes, please. We're just going to pump a whole lot. Yes, please. Uh, and how many stunts? Uh, you can have a two dot stunt. Sure. Thank you. You're so Cause... generous. Hey, he's, he's, he's gotten One, so soft in his old age. <laughs> two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven from two tens, eight, nine, Ten plus one. Uh, this one's cocked, but I'm going to say it's just a failure. So that's ten plus one is eleven. Hey. I oh no! Did he one, two, boy. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a lot of ones. Those are all ones, oh, right? Those are all ones. It's a clash. Oh, what? <laughs> you get to go at the same time. Oh, boy. <laughs> awesome. Let's make it super confusing immediately. No, but this is perfect. You know what? This is the way to do it. This is absolutely the way it should happen. We're the same person. I'm just, you know, a lot less. I just, I just have a lot less guns than him. That's all. <laughs> I'm at a significant gun deficit. <laughs> all right. Uh, so we, uh, with the 14 initiative for both of you, uh, what do you do? You want to narrate your or hers first? They happen simultaneously, so it doesn't matter. Well, I imagine that he's making like a motion or something like that as like I'm there, right? Like there is a clear, there's a clear understanding of intent. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Did not see this happening. Mountain. I love Mount, it. Mountain has like kind of this like very like this very like what are you doing look on his face, and I say I guess I'm the only one who learned lessons from our mistakes, uh, and I 
uh, like literally just dart back down. Like I like dart down the alleyway and I use my crane stance to do like hop, 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 like on the like alleyway, like building things. So I'm legitimately just getting distance and going back out into the open. If he wants to fight, it's not going to be some cool Highlander shit in the middle of the alleyway. Flash out to the world, baby. Let's go. Oh, so you're leaving. Yeah. Okay. I know. I know what he is. And regardless of how much I'm like, I mean, as rich, I'm like, he punches. I, I know how shitty I rolled with him. But as Mountain, I'm like, I still know what you're capable of. Yeah. And I'm not capable of that right now. Okay. So if uh, he wants to reveal himself, then that's cool. But my move is to be like, show it off, baby. And I'm literally darting backwards, and diagonal, and up. Which can really to like punch someone across like zones or whatever. So you could yes. I know, jump, I have, jump I have thunder, and... I have thunderclaps smash. So I could have just been like, yeah! but that, but actually Do I it. couldn't have because we went at the same time. So I can only use it if we have different initiatives because I can use it to then supersede. Mm. but simultaneously going i think kind of fucks up thunderclap <laughs> or at least in my brain it should so i'm just gonna say it's not gonna play it so hell yeah i'm uh I'm, okay i'm crouching tiger hidden dragoning away <laughs> All right. Uh, he draws his sword to move forward for the uh, clash of strikes, taking it in his hands and then sees you leaving. He says, I guess he became a coward in his days. Sheathes his sword and turns to walk away. That's, <laughs> I, I can't be goaded. That's my specialty. <laughs> you certainly can be. But he's not trying to. Really. I, I, it's true. I was going to say, do you, I, I know he doesn't have any charisma because I was him. So if you want to roll, I'll, I'll totally do it. Uh, he has much charisma. So with that, let's go ahead and do a goad, shall we? Do it. Do it. Do the goad. Because well, I remember, I rem I'm going to look at the sheep right now. And I you're going to be like, oh, oops. His charisma. Oh, he does. <laughs> <laughs> manipulation. Uh -oh. We're both very honest. That was yeah. it. Both had low manipulation. But isn't right. manipulation, isn't that what he's trying to uh, do? So, uh, <laughs> does it matter? It What's does. Your What's your resolve? High. Okay. I actually have, because uh, I have high integrity. Okay. That's one of my class skills. So what is your resolve? resolve? My resolve before I pump it is four. No, wait, no, wait. What, what's resolve again? It's the com combination of what? Uh, oh, it's resolve. four. It's yeah. four. Wits, um, it can go up, integrity it's four, divided by two. It's four and can go up to seven. Um, And I do have some social charms to protect me. Okay. So are you pumping? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I would I would absolutely uh, love. He is also pumping as he is the attacker, so he declares first, technically speaking. Heck, it kind of feels like a post stunt, but I guess that's fine. <laughs> oh, Rich. <laughs> Really, you, you I'm, really I'm just want, trying to earn the really point, want to die. I'm trying to earn the beating. I want to earn the beating. Out of you, know? <laughs> you, you got it, baby boy. You got it. Let's go give it to you. Yes, he is. All right. actually have enough physical dice for this isn't that disappointing no no it is no. not no. it's actually rewarding i feel good oh, about that and because of the goading thing it is up to seven it's not just six seven or, i'm 12, sorry it's up to eight. 13 14 oh, let me make sure that i counted this correctly well 14 is double what i have so unless you really <laughs> fucked up that count george I'm, there, I'm, I'm i'm sufficiently this was a u level roll because there are five tens in it i did it i'm finally doing well it's contentious sword <laughs> oh no, uh, and I did count wrong. Actually, there are fifteen. So, like, du double, double what I would normally do. Yes, as the words of coward, uh, the accusation of cowardice stings you slightly. Does that mean I have to go at him? Um, well, okay. It doesn't that's... mean you have to necessarily. Uh, you can spend willpower to resist it at this point, basically. I mean, that's sort of like a social influence to get someone to do something that mm -hmm. they want to do. But yeah, as a PC, you can always like resist with spending willpower. But yep. also, if you're resisting social influence as a solar, you get limits. Oh, you get a limit? Oh, if I, oh, I, didn't, well, I, didn't, I didn't know that one. Thank you. So I will, get, I will get a limit if I use a willpower to not fight. Yes. Damn, that's insane. They definitely they definitely make it a dynamic choice, huh? Yeah. Well, in this choice, it's die or don't die. So those, mm. those are actually my options. Your soul's immortal. Just do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Just do it. Get the newbie over here. All takes is one willpower and one limit. You have like not gained any limit. I've gained zero okay. limit to be clear. So I have I have no one limit. limit. I, have, right? I have I think I have the most limit in the party technically to give. <laughs> Do whatever you feel is right, my dude. 
I feel like live your story. I feel like Mountain would just eat it because at the end of the day, it's not. There's still too much riding on this. Like, like my strength. It, I mean, Mountain, Mountain internalizes it. Uh, yeah, Mountain, Mountain literally like internalizes it and just like like shakes it off. Um, so uh, there is one other thing that is necessary for decision points. Refusing successful influence to make the character do something, which is not turn, which is in this case, you must also have an intimacy and explain how it justifies resisting that intimacy. Uh, sure. res- resisting that influence. You got it. It is, I am others' strengths, but in the way that I am ah. others' strength, they are my strength. He wants to fight me with his full gambit of a thousand years of knowledge and his crazy weapons and his insane things, but I'm half cocked because who I am at my core and the part of people that I'm a part of aren't here. And so why would I fight him with one hand tied behind my back, not show it, showcasing even my true strength? Um, they need me and I need them. And so I... I'm going back to where I need them. And if I see him again at full strength, then things can be different. But see, I'm not from him, a, from and a I have nothing to prove to him. This is the point where you fight him to establish his power levels and give him no, a he's gonna, right. I've seen I've seen George kill a man in one turn twice <laughs> in my life, Peter. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Just, just go for it. Just live your life. <laughs> Internalizing emotions is a bad thing. You'll end up exploding. Just like, do it. Like, don't worry. Right. You're a PC. If you were to, to die, you could just get a wicked scar or lose an arm and survive it, and then it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's now, all. Uh, I think he's made his decision. Yeah. yeah. I'm, no, I'm out. Okay. No, I'm out. You dip out. You internalize this. You feel a bit of your solar essence bri- bristling at this challenge, which you are ignoring. And Abs- you, t- you tamp it down. You take that point of limit. Spend your willpower. And, and it resist does, the goading attempt. It does also make sense for it to be upsetting to me because Mountain does look at this person as a much lesser version of himself. So to have them be like fuck you, come and get it. And him to be like, I can't get it right now. Not today, not today. <laughs> so it, the, the limit in general does make sense. Yep. And if it's not in the rules, then it is now. It, it makes doesn't matter. Sense. It's also my past life body. Yeah. You're going to shithead. I mean, I feel like it, I, I feel like even if it's not in the rules, I just like it. For this situation especially, it's good. Oh no, I've given all the limits. Just one, please. <laughs> Yep, that's what the sheet says. I don't know. There we go. All right. So with that, you uh, crouching tiger leap out of that place. The guy who had been cursing at you previously, who saw this entire exchange, is uh, again launches into a tirade about you as you're again leaping around these very tight corridors like a giant man, a stone. Well, no, you you use the thing that lets you land like a feather, right? Yeah. This time, this time I had to use a charm because I was like, yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of here. So this. This time um, you let you i assume you leap over him again to get out of here yeah just like a bit because i was gonna have to land at basically street level to not cause a scene so like i do land like nearish him okay so you land nearish him this time with a very light step upon the ground uh, he looks at you a little bit sudden and says right, that's better get out of here <laughs> all that leaping around what the hell do you people think you're doing and he starts grumbling to himself hobbling away <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sorry. And I just go about my business. <laughs> and the smarter leaves like, oh, what's your name, peoples? <laughs> be useful. They got us. All right. Uh, so you all then at that point reconvene at the meeting point. For the sake of dramatic uh, entrances, we will say that the people from the library arrive first. That makes sense. All right. Uh, so then the three of you arrive back at your uh, camp. I don't know what you would even call this place. Your squatting residence uh, yeah. <laughs> in the meeting room, I'm assuming. Yeah. Just, okay. Uh, within the meeting room, the long table, it's set up with uh, not an overwhelming or overly fancy spread, but there is still some uh, snackage there for you, as well as water available, as is very important. Uh, there is wine or other libation available upon request. Cool. Uh, just eating and drinking as is needed while waiting. Uh, okay. Yeah. We're just sort of patiently biding our time while while waiting for the rest of our party. Okay. Mountain. At that point, you can arrive in your chosen manner. Uh, the door swings open a little bit faster than usual, I'm going to say, because generally Mountain's a little careful about how he opens doors. Uh, he still does catch it, so it's not like it's going to like slam or anything like that, but it is It is slams quicker. into the wall. The mountain begins to yeah, shake and it. crumble like, around. In general, when you're, when you're mountain size, if you open a door fast and someone's on the other side, yeah. they're basically oh. getting hit with the car. Yeah, yeah. so we're going to not... We try not to open quickly, uh, but obviously just more tense and terse looking than usual. 
I'm uh, guessing everything went well. Adramal is not with him. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> um, immediately, uh, right if you say hold on, contentious sword this year. Who? Uh, He's as Adramalic. Yeah, their looks actively puzzled in just I, hearing I, this statement. It, as soon as you go puzzled, they say he is as Adramalic. As Ad- How does that even make sense? He's, he's He's got a bunch of skulls and stuff. I don't know what he is. Mountain is taking like a leap here. Um, Dirham, as the only person who has, you can make your wits uh, integ. Uh, yeah, what's integrity roll? Sure, sure. What's integrity? I'm assuming you describe him a little bit. Yes, I, yeah, and then I, I go into like what he looks like. Mm-hmm. He has and Dira immediately pulls through the the experience in the mirror and mm-hmm. just gleams a, a, as many details as humanly possible. He may be the person that we are looking for, as he would have knowledge of, or be part of the plot, as he would have knowledge of the Harbinger. Two successes. Oh my god! Okay. The dice tell a story! The dice tell a story! <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to enjoy our show, and a big thank you to our generous patrons, Bubble Dirt, Nova Phoenix, The Piahu, and Red Comet. Come back next week or join our Patreon, where the next episode is live now. Meanwhile, don't forget to check out our tutorials and video plays on YouTube at The RPG Blender. Our next tutorial series is beginning now, so go check it out. If you want to stay up to date on our releases, you can join our Discord or find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or your podcast app of choice. Music is The Punk Rock Show by My Free Mickey. Copyright 2012, licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution License. Thank you again, and remember, there's gaming outside the Forgotten Realms. Yeah, that's a, that's like some small interaction that this is those are the explicit put that you can yeah. I hate the book so much. I hate the writing. So I'm gonna cut that on the podcast. But good God, this book is horribly written. Oh, I've read this book like 15 times and I'm still missing things because of. Okay, love the this game. Hate the book. It has so many like hidden uh, ways of interacting. Like you have a sorcery. Based on like Mara, mm-hmm. the, but if you have uh, someone that loves you, you get the bonus to your roles. There's also martial arts based on the same people <sighs> that makes people love you, but uh, by you fighting around them. And then it's not never pointed out that these are connected. And you should be looking at them both together, and so on, and so on. Oh, but yeah. Uh...